Hey guys, so my glam bag came today and I am so excited because I have seen some of the things that are going to be in this December glam bag and it looks really exciting and awesome and I am just super, super excited. So let's get started. Oh, P.S. I guess before we get started, uh, if you hear jingling, that's my awesome little jingle bell hair clip. It's like a sparkly green clip with awesome jingle bells on it so that when I go like this, it jingles and I'm pretty excited about it and I think I'm gonna wear these clips like every day till Christmas because they're awesome um, but yes now I actually will get started and it is time to break into the bag okay when I pull everything out this is what I see I like the bag right off the bat so uh, the first thing I pull out is this giant packet and it says like exclusively for Just Fab, the Ipsy collection. Um, and then it just shows some stuff, I guess, that Just Fab is carrying now. Um, and then we have the little card that says, From Ipsy with Love. That's kind of cute. Um, and then, <laughs> I guess this is just like a gift label you could use. I don't know if I will or not. Um, but I definitely really like this bag. It's just a little silver one. Um, and it's kind of shiny. I don't know, I like it. When I unzip it, I find, okay, Be a Bombshell Lip Gloss in Hot Mess. And, uh, if I can open it without tearing open this package, I will show it to you. Okay. Woo, that's a red. So that's what the lip gloss looks like. Should I go put this on? Yes. So uh, the first thing I pull out is this giant packet and it says like exclusively for Just Fab, the Ipsy collection. Um, and then it just shows some stuff I guess that Just Fab is carrying now. Um, and then we have the little card that says from Ipsy with love. That's kind of cute. Um, and then, <laughs> I guess this is just like a gift label you could use. I don't know if I will or not, um, but I definitely really like this bag. It's just a little silver one, um, and it's kind of shiny. I don't know, I like it. When I unzip it, I find, okay, Be a Bombshell Lip Gloss in Hot Mess. And, uh, if I can open it without tearing open this package, I will show it to you. Okay. Woo! That's a red. So that's what the lip gloss looks like. Should I go put this on? Yes. Okay, so this is what the lip gloss looks like on. Um, it's definitely not as bright as it looks in the tube, but it goes on pretty pretty evenly. Um, yeah, I like it so far. I don't really know how much stay power it'll have, um, but initially I like it. It's not too, like, bam red. So if you like that, then this may not be the perfect lip gloss for you. But overall, I like it. Okay, so the next thing in my bag is ooh, um, Mirabella, Mirabella Prime. So the Mirabella Prime comes in a tube like this, and this is what it looks like. Um, it says for face and eyes, so that's pretty cool. It's a multifunctional priming tool. Oh my goodness. Is it supposed to be like that? Ew, it's all like wet and oily. You guys see that on my fingers? Gross. Guys, I tried to wipe off my fingers and they still feel all like oily. Ugh. Okay, I don't know if this product is supposed to be like that. Um, I'll have to try it sometime. But that definitely worries me because I would not want a really oily primer. Okay, so the next thing in my bag is... Ah, I knew this was going to be in here. An Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the color Zero, which is black. 
Um, and I am pretty excited about that. This is what the tip of that looks like. I do already have this eyeliner and I use it quite a bit. I really like the Urban Decay Glide On pencils. Um, I just think they work really nicely. They do glide on really smoothly and the pigmentation is great. So, um, so yeah, I definitely like this eyeliner. Next is NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in Charcoal Pearl. So this is like a kind of a dark gray color. That's what it looks like. Um, I have one of these in like a shimmery gold color and I really like it. I don't know how I feel about such a dark color, um, but I will definitely try it out. I like the NYX like loose pigments, so I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, the next thing I have in my bag is Naked Skin Urban Decay Beauty Balm. Um, and it's in like a little pack it. Okay, this says Beauty Balm with an Edge um, and it has lots and lots and lots of information about it um, but this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is just a BB cream. It says SPF 20. It also says DNA repair, optical blurring, and oil free. So, yeah. Okay, so I don't really use many skin products or BB creams or anything. Um, so, I don't know for sure if this is supposed to have like a color or a number or anything. Um, but from what I can see, it does not. Oh, it's like dripping out. Lovely. Um, well, <laughs> that's what the color looks like right there. Um, and I guess I will go ahead and try this out at some point. I think it's a pretty cool thing to have got, and I really like Urban Decay. Um, so yeah. Um, actually, I think that that was like a special treat type of thing for being like an active member of the Ipsy community. Um, I don't think all the glam bags had that in it, but it's a pretty cool treat, and I'm very pleased with it. That's pretty cool. I'm really excited that I was chosen to try out that product. Um, it's just pretty exciting, and I will put aside the fact that I do not normally wear, like, skin stuff to try out this beauty bomb, so, pretty fun. Okay, so I just have one more thing in my glam bag, and it is my Couture St. Bart's Highlighter Paper, 25 sheets, so that's cool. It's in a little plastic thing, but that's what the front looks like. Ooh. The back says the purpose is to add radiance and glow to desired areas of face and body. This shimmer highlighter paper will add luminosity to any dull skin. So that's pretty cool. I want to just like swatch a little bit of one. Oh my god, these papers are so pretty. Okay, this is what they look like. And they're really just like shimmery golden papers. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but they look really pretty. Oh my god. Guys, I think I'm falling in love with this. Can you see that at all? It's so like pretty and shimmery on my finger and I only like rubbed it a tiny bit in the corner. So that is pretty exciting. I'm definitely, definitely going to try these and let you guys know how they are. Um, so that is it in my glam bag. Um, I'm pretty excited about this month. I think it was really good and it had a really great value to it. We had uh, the Be A Bombshell and the NYX, which are full-size products. I don't know if this Mirabella Prime is a full-size or not, but it's definitely a large sample. Um, the Urban Decay Eyeliner is like a travel size, I think. But still, like, this is a lot of eyeliner. This is going to last a long time, um, and it's a really great product. And then the Naked Skin is also, like, a fairly good size. Um, and these, there's 25 of them, so that's going to last me quite a while. So, yeah, I'm super excited. This was a really, really great, um, glam bag, and it's really perfect for the holidays. I know they must have, like, planned it that way, um, but I can do my red lips and my black liner and put shimmery gold highlighter all over my face, and I'll be ready for my holiday parties. <laughs> But yeah, that is all that I have for this glam bag, 
and I will talk to you guys later. If you got a December glam bag, you should leave a comment below and tell me if you loved it like I did. Um, and if you didn't love it, you should definitely tell me why. Um, just because I'd be interested in talking to people about it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!